Doc, the physics of sand and music, balanced modulation. Balanced modulation will give us sums and differences of frequencies, and that gives us weird sounds, inharmonic sounds. Inharmonicity refers to having frequencies that are in addition to the Fourier series, which is F2, F3, F4, F, or weird frequencies and not even have it at Fourier series. So either goes. And we're going to make some really strange uh, combinations here. If you take one sine wave and another sine wave and feed them into a balanced modulator, out comes the sum frequency and the difference frequency. So let's do that with an example. Here we have a 400 hertz sine wave and a 90 hertz sine wave. What comes out is 490 because you have to add them together and you subtract them and you get 310. Now what's the relationship between 310 and 490? That's weird and that refers to inharmonicity. Well let's do the balance modulation problem that we worked on in class and this one here uh, takes a 600 hertz sine wave and balance modulates it with a 50 hertz square wave. Now here is the trick. The 50 hertz square wave is not a sine wave. You have to apply that rule add and subtract to sine waves. They both have to be sine waves. So you look at this as a family of sine waves and this here is a single sine wave, a solo sine wave, so we're okay. Once we represent the sine wave by expanding it in terms of its Fourier series or Fourier spectrum, then we're ready to go with the adding and subtracting. So remember the Fourier theorem. You make a square wave that's 50 hertz by picking the sine wave that matches the frequency of what you're trying to match, the square wave. So you start with a 50 hertz sine wave. So here we are down here. And 50 hertz sine wave is at one full cup. Now we have to remember our Fourier amplitude formula for the square wave, which is one of the first harmonic, none of the second, which is you know double the frequency here, 100. And the third harmonic is triple the frequency. It's 150, and that's at one third the height. There's no even for the fourth, uh, the zero, because all the evens are zero. And the fifth harmonic, which is five times 50, goes up one-fifth the height. So you have to know a lot here that builds on a previous class. You have to know, for example, that the fundamental is 50 hertz, and you have to know how to figure out the harmonics, you the frequencies. You double, and then you triple, and then you have four times and then five times. So you have to think of the harmonic frequencies and then you have to also think of the amplitudes. How much of each ingredient do I add? Well one for the first harmonic, one third for the third and one fifth for the fifth and then there'll be one seventh here and one ninth but notice how low these are getting. They're so small that I'm going to neglect them in the analysis and you'll get the general idea but they will be present though in the sound that you would hear from a balanced modulator. So we're ready to add and subtract each of these, think of this as a family, and these are the members of the family, the three sine waves, and we have to add and subtract them with that 600. So when we do that, this is what we get. Uh, we first start here with the 50, and 50 plus 600 is 650, and if we subtract the 50 for the 600, we get the 550. Then our next one, up here at one-third the height, is at 150, so if we add 150, to the 600, we get 750 and go up one third the height. And if we subtract from 600, we get 450. Notice that you can do this in a lazy way. If you go one notch over to get your 50 plus 600, all you have to do is go one notch over to get the subtraction case. If you go over here uh, to the third harmonic being added, third harmonic, one, two, three fifties, one fifty gets added, then you just go one, two, three to the left and draw your one third height. And for the fifth harmonic here, which is at two fifty, you see that's one, two, three, four, five fifties. So if I start here, I'm lazy, one, two, three, four, five fifties takes me here, one fifth the height to match that height. And then here, one, two, three, four, five, this way, one fifth the height. Notice the nice symmetry, a mirror reflection from the center. We call these the upper, uh, say, upper sideband as a group. It's called the upper sideband. 
and the uh, lower sideband here. Uh, this is showing everything in one chart like your power notes uh, shows. We kind of did it step by step to get this result. This sounds weird, this sound. Uh, that's very strange. In harmonic, look at that. See, this is harmonic. The sine wave is harmonic. Uh, the, the three sine waves here are, that make the square wave uh, family, they're harmonic. And this is harmonic, but this is inharmonic, which you get coming out.